Hi, I'm John Storms, and today we're making a video about how to make custom models in Nutcracker 1, 2, 3. So, for my example, this year I'm doing some uh, bigger wreaths. These are 48 inch wreaths, uh, 500 tip, and what, I want, what I'm doing is I'm putting RGBs on them, RGB pixel lights, and I'm doing 125 lights. So basically I'd have, I'm going to zigzag them across like this, over, up and over, up and over, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, with 31 radials, four lights each, that gives me 120, that uses up 124 pixels, and then I'll have one left over, okay? I want to go up and down, up and down, up and down, and of course then I want to use Nutcracker to do these great effects on the wreaths, okay? So we're going to we're gonna walk through how uh, how I did this because it's a lot of fun. Okay, first thing I do is I go to PowerPoint and I am just going to do something new, All right? And what I'm going to do here is I am going to draw a donut. So I'm just going to draw something that represents my wreath. So insert. Shapes, and luckily they have a wreath in here, or something pretty close to it. Uh, this is actually pretty good width, so I'll let's, uh, do a little fill. Okay, and look at that. Now you can adjust the width here, so you can say I want a really skinny wreath. I want fat wreath, but I want it to look somewhat like the wreath that I'm building, which is this wreath. Okay, so now that I have my wreath, <coughs> now what I want to do is I want to start laying out the lines that I'm going to use on the wreath. Okay, so what I do is I draw a line that goes right through the middle. And what I want to do is I want to come up with 31 radials. <coughs> so the first few are easy. I'm just modeling this myself. See, they give me the, the lines. There's some midpoints. So I want a line that's for every place where I'm going to string the lights across. So if I have so if I have 125 radials, well if I have 31 radials, I could call it 32 just to keep it the math nice and even. And I say divide by four. That's eight per quadrant. Four, four per thing. Okay, so basically I need four radials for every inside piece here. And this doesn't have to be exact. Close enough is going to be fine, because in real life you're going to, when we actually put the lights on, they're going to vary a bit. We get the idea. I'm going to go around and I'm going to chunkify this thing. Now I'm going to pull a Julia Roberts, or uh, what's her name? The chef, whatever her name was, where she always had one in the oven. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up. Oh no, it's gone. It's not gone. Let's see. Here we go. All right, so here's my donut. And then this is after I've added all the lines. Now the other thing I did here is I added concentric circles because what I want to do is I want to have four lights across each radial. So I drew in little concentric circles, which I just did by inserting in another shape. I find a circle. I say no fill. Then I move the circle. Come on, move the circle. 
make it bigger. See, and then I just kind of nudge these into place until I like how they look. And then I make four concentric circles. So I have my 31 radials, and then I have my four concentric circles. So basically, everywhere one of these lines meets is where I'm going to want to have a light. Okay? So now what I do is I take this whole thing, I copy it, and I go to Excel. Okay? And I say new, new blank worksheet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these quite a bit smaller. That's actually pretty good right there. And now I paste in the wreath. So this wreath is going to allow me to kind of get a feel for where all the channels should go. And I can expand it, make it a little bigger. All right, so I assume. And let me get it as far over as I can. Make sure it's as far up as I can. All right, and so now I start filling in numbers. So, let's see, a little bigger will help me here. All right. So I'm going to say, I can put a one here, and I'm going to put them in the order that the, that the string is going to be in. So I try to get as close as possible to where the lines intersect. Actually, nope. This is one, two, three, four. And then because I'm lazy, I don't want to cut the wires up and resolder. I'm just going to have the wire zigzag back and forth. Six, seven, eight. Picks up here. Then I can see, you know, six really should be over here. Nine. 10, 11, 12. See how this is working? So I'm going in here and I'm putting in all of the numbers. Okay. Now let me see if I have one of these already pre prepared. That way you don't have to actually watch me enter in each and every one of those by hand. So here's, here's when I'm done. So here you can see I went through and I numbered each one of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way around. 41 to 44 to 45 to 48, zigzag, back and forth, back and forth, all the way to the end. And then I have the one extra bulb, so I just threw it in there anyway. Okay. Now you go in and you figure out how many rows do I have, which is easy in Excel. You come down here and say, all right, it is 69 rows you want to look for the row that has a number at the very bottom and then for columns you kind of have to count unless you know your um, post ABC is really good. All right. so what I'm going to do here now that I have this is I am going to go to row 69 I'm going to grab all these numbers See, and I got over on the right there I got far enough over I got everybody and I'm going to do control C. Okay, so I have just copied that. So now I start up X, X lights and Nutcracker 1, 2, 3. And we wait a little bit. Okay, I already have my setup here. We go into Nutcracker, and I'm not using the new Nutcracker 4.0 here because I'm just doing this very quickly. I'm still learning the new 4.0. But I come into here and I say models. Now I say I want a new model. I says, well, what kind of what do you want to call it? We are going to call this test wreath. Display as custom. These are RGB notes. And then it wants to know the model width and height. So the model width, I remember. It, no, I don't remember. And back here, it is 50 columns. 50 by 69. Okay. Now I still have it pasted in, in on my clipboard, right? So I come in here and let's see, 
Is this one paste? It is. And I hit paste and look what I got. Those numbers that I just copied over from Excel are now in here in the shape of my wreath. Isn't that awesome? So now I say OK. I come over here and I pick my test wreath. And over here I pick my test wreath. And then we pick an effect, you know, and everybody loves butterfly. And let's see if I hit play. See that? I get the butterfly effect in the shape of my wreath. And then I can do snowflakes, which aren't very impressive for this. I can do what's a good one? Ah. Let's see, garlands. Look at that. Garlands are pretty nice. I can let's see what else. Now that I got it. Bars. Ooh, that's nice. See that? So I could make it super easy to do my my wreath. So basically it's just a customized model. So technically you could take a picture of just about anything, overlay it on top of Excel, and you can usually make things uh, transparent. You can control how transparent they are. And then you just go in and fill in the numbers underneath in the order that they appear on your string, and voila, you have yourself a beautiful custom model in practically no time at all. So anyway, just wanted to show that to you, uh, and we'll get this posted.